Hello, and welcome to the second part of the Jupyter Notebooks installation tutorials. In this video, I will show you how to enable SSL on your Jupyter Notebooks server. I'm going to assume that you already have the server installed and running. You can check this by running docker ps-a. For this tutorial, we're going to need the Cognos Analytics certificates, as well as a brand new certificate to use for the Jupyter Notebooks server. Furthermore, you will need to have added the Jupyter Notebook certificates into Cognos using the third-party certificate tool. However, this is beyond the scope of this video. So to get started, I place the certificates inside the Cognos directory into their own folder called certificates. However, you can place them anywhere you want. It's good practice, though, to place the certificates outside of the Jupyter server's installation directory, because that will make upgrading the server a little easier if you wish to reuse the same certificates. So within the certificates directory, there's a folder called external. And in there I've placed all of my Cognos certificates. I also have the chained PEM certificate that will be used for the Jupyter Notebook server, as well as the RSA key. To add these files, you will need to modify the configuration file that is located in the Unix directory of your Jupyter server installation. We'll go ahead and open the file for editing. Feel free to use any editor for this step. So the first parameter needs to point to the folder in which you've placed your external Cognos certificates, and it is called certificates directory path. The second parameter needs to point to the chained PEM certificate. The third parameter needs to point to the RSA key. Note that all these paths need to be absolute and not relative. I'll go ahead and save the changes. Now all that's left to do is to rebuild and restart the Docker containers. These scripts can be found within the Unix directory and are called build.sh and start.sh respectively. When they're done, you can again verify that the containers are up and running using docker ps-a. And there you have it. The Jupyter Notebook server incorporated the certificates and should now be compatible with your installation of Cognos Analytics. In the next tutorial, we will explore adding new Python packages to an existing installation. Thank you for watching.